deep dive, for some scuba divers, is exciting but also challenging. It usually refers to diving in the depth between 18 to 40 meters. Although divers can use enriched air nitrox, the NDL of diving over 30 meters is still short. For most divers, the effect of nitrogen narcosis becomes significant when doing deep dive. The depth can also make the diver easily reach NDL's limit. A high air consuming rate may prevent decompression stops from going smoothly as well. Generally, no matter what depth you do, you can always use descent. However, in deep dive, it's more important to be aware of your NDL and the air supply. If one of the values reaches the limit first, plan to return according to that. When you ascend, your NDL will increase. Under this circumstance, the volume of air supplying can affect the time you can dive. Please follow the principles. 1. Follow the instructions of your descent watch. 2. When you dive exceeding the NDL, please follow your watch's instruction to do the decompression stops. 3. Have your own descent dive watch. Every diver should have at least one dive watch. 4. When you dive with others, please ascend based on the least NDL among your diving partners. 5. Dive safe. Do not do anything against the instruction of the dive watch. 6. After you dive, please wait at least 24 hours before taking a plane or going to places where the altitude difference is too large, such as mountains. We'd like to clarify two misconceptions. 1. Descent can measure your actual nitrogen content. Descent uses math models to calculate the theoretical nitrogen content based on your dive depth and time. Although the calculation is reliable, the actual nitrogen content is varied due to everyone's condition. 2. I could do anything the watch shows me. You can rely on the information Descent provides you if you follow the watch's instruction and dive with knowledge. But never neglect your body sensation. Your body will always tell you whether you are able to do it or not. For more help please visit support.garmin.com.